It is good. Let's talk about it. We head to Mosaic Preparatory Academy in East Harlem, where they fill a vending machine, not with snacks, not with soda pop, but with books. And when students do something very kind, they get a token they can use to purchase a book from that vending machine. Mosaic Prep Academy's principal, Dr. Lizette Caesar, joining us now from Harlem this morning. Hi, Dr. Caesar, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Good to speak with you about this great idea. Who came up with this? Did you come up with this? I, no, I, I actually did. Um, back in 2019, I was uh, getting cancer infusion, chemo infusion, mm -hmm. and I was sitting there just going through Twitter, and I came across some schools in the Midwest that had book vending machines and that it was well received by the community. And I thought, okay, so when I get back to Mosaic, I was on medical leave at the time, I think we need to do that because at the time when I was ending my chemo, that's when the pandemic was starting. And I kept on track looking at how our kids were doing with reading. And at, before the pandemic, our kids were reading online all the time. We have an online reading platform, they loved it. But when you're online all day long and now to ask kids for homework to go home online and read again, that wasn't working anymore. So I said, when we come back in person, we have to figure out a way to get kids motivated to read again. And, and did it work? What was the response? It did work. Well, it, it's still it's still fairly new. We've only had it in place for um, a little over a month. But when it was installed, the kids were excited. They were like, well, how do I get money for it? Do I actually have to ask my parents for money? What do I need to do? And so we just started to build up the excitement by explaining what we're going to do in terms of current encouraging reading. So. We're the very first bucket filling school in New York City, which means that we just do things to make others happy because it intrinsically makes you happy when someone else is smiling, when you're doing something kind for someone else. And so we reward kids with bucks. So every time a child makes 25 bucks, they get a token and then they get to pick whatever book they like in the machine. Okay, so what do they have to do to actually receive those tokens? What are some of the kind acts that they need to participate in? So. Uh, picking up trash and um, whenever they see you in our community, whether it be inside the school community, whether it be outside the school community, um, being high by saying hello to school safety officers, to the um, lunchroom staff, because these are people that we don't normally, you know, recognize on a daily basis. Of course, they say hello to myself and to the teachers. We want them to also be kind to everyone in the community because everyone has a role to play within our school community, helping each other out with class or go homework, giving out hugs. Well, kind of hard to give out hugs now during the pandemic. So the high five kind of hugs or air hugs. Aww. So there's a variety of things they can do to be kind, to earn bucks, to get the, to get the tokens. Well, I want to say congratulations on starting something that could be a movement and could really shape the lives of these young people into their adulthood. Congratulations. And I'm so glad that it sounds like you're in remission. Yes? I am not. I am. Um, unfortunately, um, cancer came back and I'm on chemo daily now as opposed to every two weeks uh, when I was on before. Well, I'm sending you well wishes, and I know mm -hmm. all of us here are, and, and just sending thank strength you, you. to you and peace to your mind and body and a quick recovery. Thank you, Dr. Lizette Caesar. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I hope everyone invests in getting a book vending machine for their school. It's going to make a difference worldwide. Worldwide. I agree. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.